Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain the mesh deformer from the former menu. The mesh deformer you can use in a lots of tasks. I want, I explain them one by one. <clears throat> the first one is you can use the mesh deformer like FFD. If you use FFD, you, as you can see, we have just a box that we can change the parameter here. But if you want to change the sh um, your desired shape, the object with your desired shape. For example, I have an sphere, turn off the work plane. I want to change my sphere, uh, to, for example, with a platonic cage. I want to change the form, the form of it with this cage. So I want to change it, uh, the sphere, select it, holding shift, and um, <clears throat> click on a mesh deformer it make a child of the sphere in a mesh setting we have something called cage you have to define the cage for deforming the sphere my cage is platonic click and drag on a cage the most important things is that the cage must be <clears throat> editable click it and make it editable to access its point Okay, everything's done, just you have to click OK. The OK of the mesh deformer is initialized. If you hit initialize, the software adds some tag to cage to uh, show like this. And going to the point and you can deform your sphere object. So as you can see in this example, we use the <coughs> mesh deformer as a FFD, but we choose our cage. You can choose any cage that you want I want to give an another example uh, to cage for example I want to control my cylinder you can change your subdivision I want to control my <coughs> cylinder with a cube as you can see this cube I want to give an example that uh, uh, when the cage object is uh, out of the main object as you can see the cage object is not to include whole object uh, so i want to control or uh, deform the sphere <coughs> cylinder go and assign the mesh deformer by holding shift to the cylinder and i want to use the cage the cube make it editable going to the mesh menu uh, as you can see, if we click on any object, the settings will be changed. I lock it on the mesh. Here is a look. You can lock it. <coughs> click and drag and release the cube on the cage. And everything is done. First, you have to select initialize. And going to the cube, going to the face and want to change that face. If you change the face, as you can see, we can control the shape of the parametric cylinder object also. <clears throat> but as you can see, the cage is not include whole object and just change the object that inside the cage. Here is external. If you click ignore, the software or uh, the mesh deformer ignore other part of the object and does not deform them. But if it surface, as you can see, it include the whole object, uh, but uh, it calculate, calculate external area of the object, but as you can see, the object is not completely in the cage, but it calculated. The surface area is more, uh, it's uh, tighter than the software, as you can see, if you change the shape of it here we have more slope here okay change it the ignore just change it's in its area okay you so see change the settings of the external the accuracy you can increase or decrease the quality of your cage deformer here you can uh, restore your changing by hitting restore here is the usage of the memory if you change it for example in this way you can change the strings how uh, you can define specify the power of the 
mesh deformer as you can see we deform the object but the strength it is zero and you can see nothing okay you can animate or change it like this <clears throat> I want to give an, another example when we want to simulate in something. Here I have a plane and a cube. Okay, I want to give an example about the simulation. As you can see, I have a, a sphere here. I want to drop a sphere from up change the sphere oh this is lock unlock that change the sphere segment <clears throat> as you can see change the sphere segment and the shape of it a little bit uh right click i want to give an example this simulation tag or we explain all of tag we have a soft body and click and drag, drag and select both of them and right click simulation uh, collider body when you hit play, as you can see, drop, and this is a soft body. Okay, everything now it's correct, but if you increase the amount of the segment, as you can see, it's more slower and slower. Your PC make your slower and slower. Okay, as you can see, we are going. If you, if we have a lot of segment, dynamic simulation, is very slow and time consuming for us okay we can simplify that by cage i want to use a cage for this uh, sphere and give the simulation uh, give the cage to the simulation system instead of the sphere okay we have a sphere Hold control and click and drag to uh, copy them and call it cage. And I, I do not want to simulate the very high dense sphere. Delete a, a soft body from that and we have a cage. Okay, we have a cage. Uh, as you can see, we have to make it uh, a little bit um, less segments. For example, 20. As you can see, we have less <clears throat> or smaller than and a little bit bigger than the main object or you can keep it the same size. We can change the sitting. Okay, so we have a sphere here and a cage uh, that the area of that. Okay. I want to control the sphere by the cage. So I have to give the mesh deformer to the sphere and tell the mesh deformer, please use the cage instead of the sphere that height dense. First, we have to make editable the cage and go into the mesh setting and give the cage the, to the <coughs> mesh deformer and initial, 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 uh, initialize that. Okay, everything is correct now. And as you can see, if we hit play, the mesh, as you can see, uh, the cage will be simulating. Okay. Okay. Uh, we give a mesh to the sphere, and in the mesh, we have a cage that control uh, the a sphere with a cage. As you can see, if you hit play, everything goes right. Instead of our mesh that has a lot of segment, the cage will be calculated in a dynamic uh, dynamics, uh, system. As you can see. Boom. And if the cage will be deformed by dynamic, because the cage is connected to this uh, sphere with the mesh deformer, it deform the mesh inside it and it's act like this so you can use the high dense or high segment object with the uh, cage as you can see the cage is uh, a little bit um, bigger than the sphere you can make it smaller and go into the mesh and initialize it if 
if okay okay i want to tell you explain that if it, this issue will be happen because of the external you have to uh, because some of the area of the sphere is out of the cage you can select the sphere because i want to exactly cage at the size of the sphere this will happen you can hit the area to issue to uh, solve that issue hit area okay and with uh, i give you another example with this model i want to uh, for example rig this um, this leg of giraffe uh, i want to explain a little about <clears throat> rigging but it's very easy going to this side go i will explain them with detail just going to character join tool hold control to click click and click to assign a join here going to the perspective to move tool this is our uh, <coughs> rigging system bring it here select the root to bring it here to um, make adjust to the leg okay that's correct i want to show you the little about process of rigging but it's easy uh, for assigning the rig to the whole body, we have to select all of the joint. Oh, first we have to assign the IK. Right click on the first joint, right click in a rigging tools, tags. We have an IK, <coughs> inverse kinematic. In an inverse kinematic tag, select in settings and you have to introduce the end of the joint to the end and add a goal to that. This is our goal and you can select it and uh, change your rig as you can see it's brick from a negative or wrong direction we have to go to ik and have a add a pole this is our pole bring it here to uh, be bending from the correct direction that's very easy so we have to assign those uh, join to the whole object as you can see select whole object then holding shift and select all of the joints go into the character and bind them with, with each other as you can see the first problem is very it's very time consuming and as you can see it's thinking and thinking and calculating the whole body to the rig the another important part of the rigging it's you have to paint this uh, polygon to assign them to the specific joint and it's very hard and time consuming and when it's finished i show you another uh, problem of that process it's not problem you have to do all of them when you want to rig something correctly but i want to show you an easy way uh, using with a mesh instead of uh, regular <coughs> rigging system <coughs> okay you bind and uh, when you select a goal as you can see whole body will be uh, affected by that just i want to uh changing that leg or hand of the giraffe just not whole body okay let's select this skin delete it delete this tag <coughs> okay I want to control this leg by a cage. So I draw a cage for that, bring a cube, go in here, and make sure that the whole body of the leg <coughs> include in the cage. It's in a cage. Make it editable, select that polygon, bring it here. Okay, that's nice select that polygon again make it smaller and simply hold control to extrude that hold control to extrude that and make an enough segment for better <coughs> bending and as you can see we have to make it a bigger bring it down make it bigger bring it down oh this is 
out of the cage this part mm -hmm. make it bigger and that's correct make sure that whole body of the leg is inside the cage okay i want to introduce the, this cage to this mesh select the giraffe whole body oh as you can see we have a high dense here <clears throat> going to the model mode select that and give it the mesh deformer to it hold shift and click the mesh deformer and i want to introduce this mesh the our cage this mesh click and drag this our cage here and initialize that and as you can see we have controlled that leg going to the point mode going to the key cage and with that cage we can control this leg only and i want to introduce and assign the uh, rig <clears throat> assign this cage to the rig when rig uh, the rig system control the cage and the cage system control the body inside that and we can simply create our rigging system but make sure that whole body is inside the cage okay select the cage and uh, holding shift the uh, uh, rig system and bind them together as you can see it's very fast and bring the and as you can see if you uh, change the goal that you can change the rig system what happened it changed the it's control the rig system control the cage and cage control the body inside with this method you can uh, animate or rig your uh, desired part very easily as you can see you don't need to go into the very hard and time consuming rigging this is a small way this is a small example of the cage but you if you want to accurate rigging you have to rig and paint and uh, doing its regular way to rigging okay this is all of the example of the mesh deformer hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.